Why does all the pedophilia in the Bible get a free pass? Well, it was a different time and the Bible never explicitly encourages pedophilia. In Numbers 31, 17, Moses tells the soldiers to kill all the women who have slept with men, but to keep all the women, children, girls who have not slept with men for themselves. And why does it was a different time work to excuse pedophilia, but not to explain the existence of queer people? Numbers is in the Old Testament, it doesn't count. If we're going by that logic, you know what else is in the Old Testament? The passage in Leviticus that says one should not sleep with a man the way one sleeps with a woman. And the word homosexual did not even appear in the Bible until 1946 when they intentionally mistranslated it to discriminate against queer people. Why does that make sense? Because being gay is icky. And again, most of the passages you mentioned are from the Old Testament. Oh, that's right. All that got wiped away when Jesus came. So does that mean the story of creation is just like a parable? Also, wasn't there one thing Jesus said was more important than anything else? The greatest of these is love. How can you knowingly discriminate against LGBT people when your main guy said the greatest of these is love? How can you not love LGBT people? I could do this all day. Let me know if you want to hear the one passage that explicitly mentions abortion in the Bible and not in the way that you think.